Okay, so I wanted to show you guys an option for the interactive notebook because I know some of you are not enjoying the virtual online interactive notebook. So if you wanted to do a hard copy, um, that's fine. So I just wrote Algebra 1, my name. I have a cover page. But the key here with the actual book interactive notebook, you really need to have a table of contents. So um, I left one, two, three, for five pages open just for the table of contents. So online on the virtual one, it just says unit one, unit two, but for your actual notebook, you need to figure out like what, what set of notes you're putting on what page. So after your table of contents, um, I started to number my book. So this is page one. And then I, when I turn the page, it says page two, page three, page four. Okay, you will have to do that. Um, so for example, page one was multi-step equations, the checklist, and the examples, right? So if you look, okay, so all of your notes should be on this page. And just a reminder, you should not have my notes. You should have your own notes, okay? The virtual notebook, my copy online, is really just to guide you. So page one, right? I wrote multi-step equations, checklist, and examples. So what do I have on page two, right? Page two would be solve multi-step equations where we had the true and the false questions, okay? So then I wrote that down, the title, pretty much the title of the lesson, page two. So you will have to keep track of your table of contents that way, okay? It's a little different than the virtual one. But if you would rather do a real um, book, you, you can do that. Okay?